Okay, Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, respect and charity to all you brothers out there pushing this word with sincerity and truth. This is another episode of Performing Arts, and this is Brother Prince Shema Basar. Okay, I want to start to go off of, I'm going to read Deuteronomy. Chapter 4 to 4. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you for to do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord, your power of your fathers, giving you. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish out from it that it that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your power which I command you now when they say add it on to it or take it away that's exactly what the scriptures say you can't be added on to your thing um, added on to it with your feelings okay and that's a lot that's what a lot of Israelite cameras do too so I call that tradition of men Okay, you can't add something your own breakdown into it. Your own, even if you think you're adding your own little spin. It says not to add to it or take away. Okay. Then it says, "Your eyes have seen." Verse three: Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. Bow per pair, bow pair. Now, that's what we're going to focus on, bow pair. And and the reason why I bring that out because are we doing that to this day? Are we worshiping bow pair? Yes, a lot of us are. When you're in those churches, you're worshiping bow pair. Now, this is food for thought. This is something you should think about. When you're in those different dom the new rules that came in. I think maybe a year ago or two years ago. I'm not sure the date or whatever like that. But I do know one of the rules is that when you are taking a 501c3 is that you can't stop so-called lesbian or gay or whatever like that from coming in the church. This is what they say. This is their rules. You can't push them away. All right. Now, once I give you the understanding for those who don't know who Bell Pair are, you're going to understand what you're into and that when you're going into these churches, you're really worshiping under the vibration of Satan. Ignorantly not knowing. Now, some, if you hear this, you're going to learn something today. Hopefully you'll be edified. OK, that's why you have the watchman, because sometimes our people are ignorantly serving other gods without them knowing. But when the prophets are out there. And they're preaching this good news on the corners to wake our people up and let them know their transgressions. Because some of our people are just dark. And some of our people are in the, uh, so busy worshiping and being part of the rudiments of this world. Okay? And that's what is all the philosophies and anything that the world is doing that's making you sin. That's why Yahweh shall give you the perfect quote when he says that we are part of the world. Because we live here, but we live in the world, but we are no part of the world. Meaning we don't indulge in their activities, in their curriculum activities, in their pagan um, idolatry worships, their spiritual fornication and spiritual whoredom, however you want to look at it, that keeps you going to the left side. So it says, for all the men that follow Bala, Baal, Per, the Lord, the power, have destroyed them from among you. Now, let me start with this. A little brief about Baal, Pa'ar. Now, Ba means to exercise dominion over or to be Lord over. So you could say, oh, that's not so bad because a husband is a Lord over his house, Lord over his wife. Okay, so Ba means to exercise dominion over or to be led to, or to be Lord over. Okay. Now. <clears throat> it says. 
So Baal worship, when you do the research, was Baal was connected to Baal Pearl, which is like a mountain, a gap. Okay, which was the worships that involved obscene sexual rights. Okay, obscene sexual rights. Commenters assert that Bel Peral refers to degrading sexual rights. Now let's see what some of that may be. Worshipping of human excrement and anal intercourse. Now I got a skit that I'm going to play after this to let you know a little bit more. So now let's check this out. Our people Israel started following them, the Moabite gods. Okay, which was worshiping sex at which was worship degrading yourself, doing things that's just, just just crazy. Okay, so one of the things that I bring out to you what to to, to they worship shit, excrement out of your body. Okay, feces. Okay, caca, doodle, whatever you want to put it. That's what they worship. That's part of their worship. But you're like, ah, come on, man. We don't see people bowing down to that. You have to do unfilthy, ungodly acts that you can imagine or the grace, the base things to be part of these what groups. Okay. To be part of these celebrities, you have to do um, <clears throat> unlawful acts. And a lot of our people follow into that because they want to make it. Okay. They want to be that superstar. They want to be that, have that celebrity status. Okay. Now, let me just read a couple of more scriptures on that. Let me give you Numbers 25 and 3. We're going to jump around a little bit. Numbers 25 and 3. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Pa'ar, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. Did you hear that? And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, slay ye every one his men that was joined unto Baal Pa'ar. So hung them in the hot sun. And that's the judgment that they got back then. So what do you think the judgment is going to be in this latter times that we tell you, that we warn you all the time about? You're going to be judged by fire. He's going to pierce, he going to, he going to um, pierce that ass. Purge all of estimates out of you by destroying you. That's what they do to gold, right? And a hot fire that you can't even take and your flesh is going to rip from your skin that's not just by the that's not just only by the um the missiles but that's also the brimstone that he also used in Sodom and Gomorrah and also you have fire that comes from the earth they use a chemical that they use in a tar black tar which is flammable. So that's heavy fighter, fire. Okay? And that's what's going to happen to you people. When you when I just read this, you seen it wasn't light for them. So how much more for you in these latter days? That's why we're warning you now. Now, go to um, I'm gonna jump to 31 and 16. This is numbers 31 and 16. I'm gonna jump to that. So some of you religious heads might think be thinking in your heart. That's why as it says that um, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Because they think that they serving the most high, but they all they they, they all messed up. Hosea um four and six, our people are lost for a lack of knowledge. Because they don't have this truth. And they follow in the customs of the heathen. Jeremiah chapter 10. And it says, learn not the way of the heathens. Okay, because when you learn the ways of the heathen, you also worship in their gods. That's you're doing all that. Now, what I say, Jer um, what did I say? 
Numbers 31 and 16. Here it is. Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of Perar. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman that have known man by lying with him. But all the women the children that have not known a man by lying with him keep alive for yourselves. And do you abide with the camp seven days? Whosoever have killed any person and whosoever have touched any slain, purify both yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day. That's just enough on that. Just giving you a little insight on that. Okay? Now, remember, you say, well, Shabai, Basar, what does that have to do with today? Okay. Why are you telling us that right now? We don't want to hear that. Okay, I'll tell you why. Second Timothy three sixteen. Second Timothy three sixteen. All scriptures is given by inspiration of the most high. It's a warning. And it's profitable for doctrine, the reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So this helps equip you. See, this is the Lord work. And he tells his prophets, and we warn you people. The watchman stands in front of the tower. We blow the spiritual trumpet, which is the Bible, to warn you the things that's about to take place. That get out of these this the spiritual fornication of the of the denomination of the churches. Now you can't say that you're ignorant of this matter. Now you know. Because the the, the church, the temple or the tabernacle is supposed to be clean. You're not supposed to have any foul thing in that. So you'll be mocking the Lord if you're saying, well, come as you are. Even though you know Johnny, Johnny serves, he, he's into bestiality. Even though you know Sarah is in um, equosexual, meaning you can have se um, sex with anything. You can have sex with cars. You can hump the ground. Okay? And that means you're not using the word of God to its full of potential. You're not pushing it. You're being wishy-washy. And the Lord don't want a wishy-washy spirit. And you can't be a prophet if, you, if you're wishy-washy. You have to say it and tell it how it is. That's why when we say Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up that voice like a trumpet, and show our people their transgressions. That's exactly our duty, what we're supposed to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? So that's why we have to tell you this, because this is equipped to keep us focused, because we might have 98% of the world following Bel Pa'ar, okay? Committing um, atrocities against the Most High by serving Bel Pa'ar. And then you'll think it's um, nothing wrong with it, because damn near everybody's doing it. That's why I first quoted, live in the world, but don't be part of the world. Don't follow these dumb ignorant, docile people. Okay? Don't do it. Stick to the script. Stick to sound doctrine, which is the law's statutes and the, the law and the testimonies. If they speak not according to this or they don't walk by this, there is no light in them. Get away from them. Separate them. Separate yourself from them. Alright? Now, let's go to the last scripture. Romans, then I'm going to play the video skit. It's a short. Because are you serving Bel Pa'ar? The God of shit. The God of saying it's okay for you to um, have anal sex. The God of the demanding yourself to get what you need, to be part of something. See, people, you don't know how deep it is. is and you don't know the tactics and the, the, tactics and the um, trickery that Satan used. Like I always say, man, he don't care how he gets you as long as he gets you. And that's what you have to know. You have to, you have to be protected. You have to pull on the full armor of the most high. Because you will slip up. And that's another thing what those garments is for. With the ribbon of blue. 
when it says the number, it reminds you. And also that the, the, the um, what do they call it? That the the, 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 the uh, damn, what's that word? It was the rope that they put on their right arm. It was a, the, the forgot what it was. It come to my hand, but it was the laws. It was like a rope that you would put back in the ancient times so that you wouldn't forget the law. Now you use a ribbon of blue, okay? And that's why you have to stay prayed up because sometimes you slip up in this world. You won't even realize that you're slipping up, but I hope you don't slip up and let another man put, slip up, put his penis in your behind because you ain't slipping up. That took time, okay? You meditated on that. You knew what you was doing before you did it. So you can't say you slipped up in that. I don't want to hear that. That's something that, 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 that your spirit was enticed into. That lust that you wanted to do. So you carried it out. It wasn't no slip. A nigga can't slip his penis in another man's rod. Excuse my language. You had to be willing to do that. Alright. Give me Romans 1, 18.32. Here it is. This is what the Lord says about that. Because watch again. Are you serving Bel Pa'ar? It says, for the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the true unrighteousness in unrighteousness. Right. You holding the true and unrighteousness when you don't tell the people, when you're trying to cover it up. Because you don't want niggas to be mad at you or you want pe you want to be liked or you don't want to be hard on. It, it says, spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Cry aloud. Spare not. That's what it says. You're supposed to follow that. For the rap, and then it says, verse 19, because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them. For the Most High has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without a scoot. Roll. So you can't say that in no... The fool says in his heart, I think it's in Proverbs chapter 14, there is no God. But it's evidence that it is the most high when you look around, when you see the sun, when you see the moon, when you see the stars, when you see seasons, when um when you see seasons taking place in this right orderness. Um, summer's coming at the right time. Winter's coming at the right time. Spring's coming at the right time. Did it ever miss? Did it ever skip a beat? Did the summer ever come in a time that it was supposed to be in the winter? That winter was supposed to come? That is the power of the Most High. So it's saying in here, it is evidence of his works. Look at humans, their eyes, their brain, how they're made up. That's evidence of who? Yahweh. And his son who made all things, Yahweh Shah. All right. Verse 21. Because that when they knew God, the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's why a lot of you brothers fall off, because you come vain, become vain in your own heart. You become proud. You become boastful. You want to stand out and do something different that's contrary to the Bible. It wasn't about preaching the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh It was about preaching what you wanted to preach. You wanted to add something new. The scriptures is plain and clear. The scriptures are the straight gate. Don't add to it. Don't take away. But you wanted to stand out. Stand out because you wanted to be this big, great man. Now you're going off. And now you don't reach what? You don't reach what the Most High hates, a proud spirit. You might be too far back to come back, but I can't say that because I ain't the Lord. But you know what the Lord feels about a, a prideful spirit, and that ain't good. Verse 22, professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. Yeah, I know the highest breakdown. I know this. I know that. I've been in here in this truth for 40 years. I've been 50. Oh, I'm the camp leader. So y'all listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Because a little bit of power. You have no power. The most high has the power. You just a mere man. And you wither just like the plants. All right. 
verse 23, and change the glory of the uncorruptible most high into an image made like to corruptible and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up. Here's the part. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator? That's it. You know, and man did. Man came up with his own imagination plan and did what he wanted to do. And that's how you got these niggas serving Bel Pa'ar. You know what I'm saying? A nasty God. Okay? Satan. Going to his counterparts and doing all types of wicked sacrifices. Seeming old prostitute temple. I'm, I'm going to let the video talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, hold on. Here's the video. This is crazy. Yeah, and this is what everybody's into. Now, where was it at? Here it is, right here. Right here. Another episode of Performing Arts, Prince Shamar Basar. Hope you was edified. Shalom.